Good morning from Puerto de la Cruz at the Puerto Palace Hotel. I had a great night's sleep. The bed was super comfortable. It was really quiet. Everything was splendid. Now, it's early doors. I've come out onto the roof terrace. Look at them beautiful views. It's just amazing. You can see right over the pool. And I'm gonna to go to the gym because there's a gym on site here. And then I'm gonna head down for breakfast. So come for breakfast with me at the Puerto Palace, the four star in Puerto de la Cruz, Tenerife. Let's go. Now, if you saw the last video with what I had for dinner, I was certainly ready for bed, but I thought I'd go around and film this place at night because it was beautiful, all lit up. Straight through reception, and I tell you what, it was kicking off. There was loads of entertainment, and this young lady was dancing the night away. Now, I headed outside to have a little wander around the pool area because the pool was all lit up as well, and it was just such a nice, peaceful place to walk around. Back inside, everyone looked like they were enjoying the live music. There was plenty of places to sit, relax and have a drink or get yourself on the dance floor. This one had worn herself out, but I tell you what, she was back on that dance floor within minutes and rocking the place away. Now let's go and see what breakfast was like. Breakfast was really impressive with a huge selection of different things to choose from. Everything from your cakes and your pastries to your fresh food cooked in front of you so you can get yourself your bacon, your eggs and everything you need ready for the day. A big selection of bread as well, which you can put in that special little toaster, the little conveyor belt that all hotels have. And lots of different hot food like scrambled egg, hash browns, you name it, they had quite a big selection. There's always a cold meat and cheese section for breakfast in these hotels, so I dived into that. And if you want to be a little bit healthier, you can go for a selection of different fruits. Now, most people can't start the day without a coffee, and there was a couple of coffee machines, but me, I don't drink coffee, so I went for a little cheeky apple juice, and off I went to get my breakfast down me. Breakfast at the Puerto Palace, Puerto de la Cruz, Tenerife, we're here. Now, there's loads on offer and I've gone for a full-on protein-filled breakfast. Now, there's no carbohydrates in this. I've literally just been to the gym, so I thought, better not have any bread. But there is loads of bread, loads of toast, uh, loads of pastries, loads of different things for you to try if that's what you want for breakfast. But be aware, you eat that, you'll be sleeping. So for me, I've got lots to do today. So we've gone for the fried eggs, we've gone for the scrambled eggs, We've gone for a very strange boiled egg, lots of bacon, some pork, and there's also some cold meat as well. <laughs> it's a meat feast. Let's go. Oh, and we've got a nice little glass of apple juice, which is probably not the best thing. I'm being ever so healthy, and I let's try this bacon because it was cooked fresh. Mm, you can see it being made with the eggs. Oh, that is gorgeous. Excuse fingers, but. You know, no one can see me. That is super, super, super crispy. Eggs cooked well. Very nice. There you go, bit of bacon, bit of egg. Mm. Now, breakfast opened at 7.30. It was busy at 7.30 because there was loads of people getting excursions. There was loads of people outside heading out. And as I've said in the video before, they're a little bit older than your normal sort of south of Tenerife here. Which is quite surprising because it's such a hilly area. It's not very good to walk around here because everything's quite high up. When you get down to town, it's quite flat. Um, but the hotels and everything, it's quite a mission to walk downtown, but they do put on a little bus that takes you down there. There was loads of cold meats. I know us Brits don't really have cold meat for breakfast, do, do we? But there was loads of cold meat, so I've tried a bit of that. And there was loads of like yogurts and fruit. Because you know, when you have a breakfast in a hotel, you have to have something called breakfast dessert. And after I finish this lot, I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast dessert. Some hotels go all out with the sweet stuff for breakfast, but here you had a selection of fruit, or you could go really bad and have deep fried churros with chocolate, mmm. It's breakfast dessert time. <laughs> the breakfast was good. It's filled me up, but there's always room for dessert. And 
when you're in a hotel, you have to have breakfast dessert, don't you? Now, I've gone super healthy again. I'm sorry to disappoint if you want to see me filling my face with cakes because there's plenty of cakes. There was loads of jams and stuff like that to put on all these pastries, but I've got to avoid that because I've got so much work to do. Now, look, we've got some figs, which are very traditional here in the Canaries. There's a load of these around. And um, we've got some fruit salad, some melon. We've got a bit of a fruit, a fruity dish. It's a bit of a fruity day for me, but let's dig in because although this is healthy, a lot of this fruit, apart from the melon, is actually tinned. So is it really that healthy? Probably not. It's probably full of sugar anyway. I may as well have had a donut, shouldn't I? But there you go, we do try. So let's try the melon. Let's dig into one of these figs. Mm. Now them, I could eat them all day. I could literally sit and eat them all day long. They're like a dried fig as well. And then of course, we've got the old tin fruit. Bit of pineapple, bit of papaya, I think. Bit of something else. <laughs> and a bit of something else. I don't know what it is. It's probably not as good for me as, um, as it should be, but it's very tasty and it gets you going for the day. Now, what day have we got planned? I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna get back up to the room, pack everything up, and I'm heading down the south of Tenerife. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got loads of hotels to show you in Tenerife, and if you come into Tenerife, you've got any questions, or you wanna book any excursions, just visit our website, travelon.world. Message me if you want a discount code, and I'll be able to send you one personally, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video and in the next hotel. See you later.